Okay, here's what I'm going to show you, and that's how to create a simple workflow with a uh, on a list with SharePoint Designer 2013. And of course, we're using SharePoint 2013 with Office 365. So I've created a support tickets list, and yours will probably be different. This is just a simple one with a summary field, description field, priority low, medium, or high, and notes field, and a status field. What we'll do is we want to create an email notification when a ticket is created um, and status is open. And we also want to email the user when we close the ticket. So we'll go to lists and we'll go to workflow settings, create a workflow in SharePoint Designer. It'll run through, open the list and give us the new workflow dialog box. So I'll put in tickets for our name description I'll leave that blank and then choose the platform the I mean you can use either one but 2013 gives you some funny stuff whenever you um, set it up the way that I'm doing it so I'm going to use 2010 and if you want your workflow to look correct uh, at least for this kind of workflow I would suggest using 2010 so we'll click OK it'll build it and it'll should bring up the text based designer so 2010 workflows work in steps 2013 workflows have steps and then they have a transition stage. So we're just going to do this in one step. Um, and SharePoint Designer lets you create um, actions for the steps or conditions um, with if statements and with action statements and, and that type of thing. So all you have to do is type. So we're going to say if, and you'll see that it says press enter to view six results, hit enter, and we'll say if current item field equals value. So it gives you these two blue links. We'll click on field to choose the field from the list. And I'm going to choose summary. Actually, oops. I'm going to choose status. And then value, it'll actually show you the values that you have set for that list column. So we'll say if it's open, we're going to send an email. Hit enter. And so it'll say email these users. Click these users. And here's your email message that it's going to send. So we'll click on the address book. And we'll actually choose Matthew St. Lawrence. And you can type in an email address up here. So if it's like helpdesk at yourcompany.com, you can do that. For the subject field, we're going to use the string builder. And I'm going to type in new ticket, put a colon and a space, and then down here, add or change lookup. And we'll say current item. And I want to put the summary in the email subject. So current item is the data source and field is summary. Click OK. Click OK on that and you'll see our status or our subject, I'm sorry, is going to show the new ticket colon summary. And then here's what I'll do down here. I'll put user and I'll add a lookup down here and we'll say current item created by and then return field as we can select different things. We can do email address, login name, ID number. What I'll do is do display name. Actually, I'll go over here and hit enter. And right below that, I'll go ahead and put in their email address too. So we could quickly reply to the email by clicking their name. And we'll click OK. And then we'll go down here and I'll put summary. And I'll add my summary in again. And we'll do description. And I'll hit enter and I'll add in my description field. Click OK. So then let's let's put in down here, view the ticket here. And I'll highlight that and then I'll click on my hyperlink button. This is where it gets a little bit tricky if you're not if you haven't done it before. Text to display is here. Okay, so your text to display is up here. Your address, you're going to use the formula bar or the formula button right here. So I'll click that. And the data source, this is where the data source is not going to be current item. It's actually going to be workflow context because we're using the context that the workflow is working in. And for this case, it's on that item. So we'll go to field from source and we'll choose current item URL. Click OK. And you can see it's a nice blue hyperlink. So... We've got our open, if the status is open, we'll copy this and paste it down here. Make sure it's outside of this condition. So you can see we've got one here in a big box. And we've got one down here in another big box. 
So if the status equals, we'll change this to closed and we'll send another email. Select the user. And in this case, we'll send it to the user who created the item. We'll put ticket closed. Go back to my string builder and we'll add in the summary just so they know which ticket we're talking about. We'll say your ticket regarding, and then we'll put the summary in, has been closed. Contact IT for further assistance. And we'll even put in, actually, since we have a notes field, we'll put that in there too. We'll put technician notes. And we'll put in a lookup to the notes field. All right, so that's all we really need to do there. So we'll save this. And when this workflow is triggered, It'll go to step one, because there's only one step, and it'll say if status equals open. If that fits, then it'll email. And then it'll wait for another step in the workflow, which there's only one. So I'll, so here, here's how this makes sense. Oops, not publish. We'll go back to ticket right here on your breadcrumbs. And this is the workflow information status panel. You want to look at start options. You can, I recommend allowing the workflow to be manually started in case you have a burp or something in your, in your list workflow, but you really want to make sure you choose start when it's created. So when they submit a ticket, it'll, it'll send off an email to IT. And then you also want to start workflow automatically when an item is changed. So if you go in and add the notes and, and change the status, then it'll, it'll trigger an email notification too. So we'll save that and then publish it. And once that's done, then we should be able to demo the workflow and that should solve the problem. So we'll just wait for this really quick. And then we'll go to our support ticket list. And I'll just refresh it just to make sure we're good. And I'll click on new item. And I'm gonna call this broken mouse. My mouse doesn't work. And priority, it's medium. And I'll, we can, you can go to info path and set, you know, notes and status aside and say IT use only. That's what I usually do, but that's beyond the scope of this. And we'll hit save. So I misspelled mouse, but either way, you can see that my mouse doesn't work. There's a ticket. And if we go to my inbox here in just a minute, we should see that ticket come in. And there's my ticket. Here's my notification. It, this would be going to the IT department. It's kind of hard because obviously I'm the only one working in this and it's sending emails to me, but it tells you the user, Matthew St. Lawrence, AKA Matt at simplifiedsharepoint.com submitted this ticket, broken mouse, misspelled. Description, my mouse doesn't work. If I want to view the ticket, I can click that URL and it takes me right to the ticket. So that's how the first part works. Now, if we want to go in and we want to put some notes in, um, replaced mouse, tested, uh, resolved, and then I'll make the status closed, and then I'll stop editing the list. We should see in my inbox, here's my new mouse ticket, or my the new ticket, and then we should see another email come in in just a second that tells us that our ticket has been closed. So we'll wait on that. And the lag time we see between the emails is due to the SharePoint timer service for outgoing email. So that's usually set to trigger every couple of minutes. So it might not be completely um, instantaneous, but it's pretty darn close and it's, it's good enough for IT department work. So as soon as that comes in, we'll see how it looks. Okay, and we can see that my email finally came in. So it says, your ticket regarding broken mouse Here's the notes, replace mouse tested, resolved, has been closed, contact IT for further assistance. So hopefully that kind of shows you how you can create a workflow to send out support tickets. Now you should probably create some views and set the list to only show them the ticket they created and 
those type of things. But specifically regarding the workflow, that should get you started. So if you have any other questions, shoot me an email at matt at simplifiedsharepoint.com. Check out the site and the articles we have there and have a good one.